spirits. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather together once again here at our rectory at St. Luke's Catholic Church, my name is Father Eric Gritter, the pastor, and our seminarian Michael Coronado, and our, our little dog Boo is here with us in the house in quarantine, and also Father Alejandro. We ask you for your continual prayers as we continue to pray for y'all. Today we celebrate the, the, the feast day of, of St. Oscar Romero. And what a wonderful role model he is in the way of keeping the faith. In the midst of chaos, in the midst of everything that's going on, Oscar Romero remained faithful through it all. As we are also called to, to imitate Christ's mercy and love at this time as well. So as we gather together to prepare to celebrate this mystery of God's love, let us take this time to acknowledge our failures. The times we have failed in listening to the word of God, the times that we have failed in following Christ. And let us ask our Lord for peace and pardon. You are sent to the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for that the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple towards the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate, and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then we had, when he had walked off to the east, with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits, and had, had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand, and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again he measured off a thousand, and had me wade the water, was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river I saw very many, many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arab, and empties into the sea, the, water, the salt waters, which it makes fresh wherever the river flows. Every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit. For they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we, we fear not. Through the earth be shaken, and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord, Lord of hosts is with us. Our, our stronghold is, is the God. God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlet gladdens the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in our midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. 
The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he was wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give back the joy of our salvation. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was the feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, at the Sheep Gate, a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. And these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool. When the water is stirred up, while I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is a Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you to take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After death, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews, and Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do you want to be well? What a, what a powerful question that is, especially here with this whole pandemic going on and so many deaths and fears and anxieties and worries. And you hear Jesus saying, do you want to be well? And of course, our answer is yes. But did you notice what the, the sick man for over 38 years, he had been going to the pools and he was not able to go down. People were going there faster than him. And he was just sitting there, and Jesus said, Do you want to be well? And of course, our answer is, Of course, Lord. Of course, you know we want to give well. And he says, Well, then pick up your mat and follow me. You know, what a beautiful image of, of having faith, right? That's a call to faith. Jesus is saying, Do you believe? And we're saying, Of course, Lord, you know we believe. Then don't worry. Then don't be afraid. Have faith, right? Take courage and believe that I will be with you. What comforting words at such a time of the unknown. And I've been reading a lot on, on the Facebook and the paper and watching the news and you just you almost can't get enough of it as you see these numbers rising and rising. Even here in our own city of San Antonio, that the mayor and the, the governor goes on and the mayor comes forward and says, you know, that we're going to be a lockdown after midnight tonight. No one, but only those who need to be out should be out. But he's really encouraging everyone to stay home, to be safe, right? Work safe. And it's such an important part in some ways of our faith that we have to remain faithful through it all. You know, through the midst of the struggle, through the midst of our, of our darkness, that there is that light. And that light, of course, is Jesus Christ. So it's not, I always say there's no such thing as, as a, a irony, right? There's no such thing as a coincidence that things happening for a reason. And these readings are very comforting to hear Jesus talking about the healing powers of God, right? That that he's healing. And it's it's important during the season of Lent, which is a time of prayer, a time of fast, and it's a time of giving alms to the poor. It's our time to be one with God. And how comforting to hear these words of Jesus saying and asking us, do you want to get well? My brothers and sisters, let us let us place our, all of our, our anxieties and our worries, all of our fears, 
Let us just bring them to the foot of Jesus. Let us bring them to the foot of the altar and let God uh, take care of our anxiety. Let's, let us just leave it there. And, and that way we walk by faith and not by sight. Let us leave our anxieties at the foot of the cross and say, okay, Lord, into your hands I commend my spirit. I trust in you, Jesus. I believe in you. Just show, show us the way. And in many ways, he's showing us the way right now. And once again, thank you for, for joining us here at the, in the comfort of your own home. But I know you'd rather be in the church at this time. But, but at this time of, of the unknown, this time of unknown territory, that we've never been here before, but we trust. We gather with faith. We gather because we are people of believers. And Jesus promised us, anyone who believes in me shall never perish, but shall have eternal life. My brothers and sisters, on this season of Lent, that we celebrate the feast of St. Uh, Oscar Romero, what a beautiful saint and a man of faith that he was, even unto death, right? Even when they were threatening him, he still continued to celebrate the Mass. He still continued to have the faith and encourage others. What a great shepherd to be there for us, to remind us that, that we are his sheep and that he is our good shepherd and that we place our trust in him. And Jesus asked the question, do you want to get well? Amen. Amen. Let us stand for the prayers of the faithful. My brothers and sisters, trusting in God, who heals our afflictions, let us offer our prayers this day. For the church, may God help us to grow in holiness and be a light that leads many souls to salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, May the Lord grant them wisdom in protecting all in their care, especially the most vulnerable and the elders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those with chronic illness, may Christ the healer bring them physical and spiritual healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, that during this journey of Lent, we may grow in cha charity and love through the graces of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved deceased, today we remember Michael G. Keller, Xavier Guerra, and Kenneth Dugosh, and in thanksgiving of St. Anthony, and for all of our beloved departed who have died in the light of faith, may they receive a place at the heavenly banquet we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And of course, for all the victims of this coronavirus, and especially for those who have been infected and affected by this, this, by this virus. And we pray for healing upon our world at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And at this time, I invite you to uh, answer in your comment. Who would you like to pray for today? So we're going to take a moment of silence for those who are amongst you that you want to share it in your group or asking you to do group at the family to whom or what would you like to pray for at this time? We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are faithful and kind Please hear and answer our prayers this day. In your wisdom, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made may become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Mr. is water and wine, and we share in divinity as you humbly share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness, we have this wine to offer. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands may become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my inequities, cleanse me of all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator, for this our mortal life, and affect us in the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so... We gladly, with your countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. If you'd like to kneel, I'd be seated at this time. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. We remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, then bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Oscar Ramiro, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, then may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we stand together with faith and confidence in eternal life, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other some sign of peace. Peace, you guys. Peace with you. Peace be with you. Let us pray. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. At this time, we would like to pray the act of spiritual communion together. And let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies, now and likewise in times to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads and ask for God's blessings. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you, and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And just a short announcement. Uh, tomorrow, obviously, is a Holy Day of Obligation. It's the Annunciation of, of, of Mary. And we know that, uh, or to Mary, that the Annunciation of the Lord, we know that uh, the churches uh, are closed, so that you can't come to church. So we want to really invite you and your families to really still... Uh, preserve that holy day uh, you know even if we can't come to church you can still watch it on tv tomorrow at noon in english or at 7 p.m in spanish but we really want to encourage everybody and all your families tell all your families to to be sure if you can't watch it with us here at st luke's 
uh, watch it at, at another station or watch it with CTSA or EWTN. Uh, there's a lot of other uh, sites that you could watch it, but really preserve that day. It is a holy day and is a day that we should still recognize as the Annunciation. So my brothers and sisters, thank you once again for joining us today. Thank our cameraman, Michael Coronado, and, uh, and just keep us in our prayers as we will be keeping y'all in our prayers as well. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This celebration is ended. Let us now go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.